Good evening, my friends. It's Krebs here, and today we're going to be playing a little bit of Company of Heroes 2. And yes, we are going to be playing as the Axes this time, because, as I said in the last episode, that's what we're going to do next. Alright, so Krebs, what do you have on show for us today? What is your strategy that you've been devising? Well, I've been having a little bit of a think over what I could possibly show you guys, and yeah, I've come up with something. I call this strategy, and I'm not claiming this is my own strategy, but I call it the the zombie strategy. That's that's what I've called it thus far, and the reason I call it the zombie strategy is because of the doctrine that I'm going to use this time around. It's going to be the Fesh Dueling Support Doctrine. And I know in Company of Heroes, I like to say, adapt to whatever is coming at you. So to say I'm going to go for this strategy at the start of a game, it's not really the best way to actually go ahead and play the game. You should try to adapt and respond accordingly to whatever your opponent throws at you and then use whatever doctrine would be appropriate to use that situation. I totally agree, but since this game is new and people are still learning stuff, it uh, doesn't matter, who cares? We can have a bit of fun. So I'm going to use the Festung Support Doctrine. Um, I will briefly explain what you can get from it. You can get a Mortar Half Track, you can get Smoke Bombs, which is quite nice. Because it allows you to get cover for, say, your vehicles or or your infantry or whatever. It just allows it so that there's uh, less received accuracy for whatever is coming through there. And also, it has a, sort of a nice secondary effect. There's a plane that runs diagonally from your, uh, from your base across the map, and that dro drops the uh, smoke bombs. But it also does a little bit of reconnaissance as well, so you can see actually what's going on. Uh, there's also relief infantry that you can get from it and this is where the zombie strategy actually comes from so i'm going to be working with t1 to uh tier how how would the tiers even work in this i'm gonna actually jump on up to the second tier as soon as possible i'm gonna be spamming out pioneers initially because i'm hoping that if the strategy works i'm gonna get uh zombie pioneers turned into ostrupen infantry here with the relief infantry ability there's also the access to howitzers which is absolutely amazing in my opinion yeah fair enough it's not that strong it even says in the actual title of it but towards the end of the game it's good at finishing off opponents and it's only 600 manpower um it's expensive but it's not like it it's it's the most uh it doesn't take a big toll on your fuel and everything or anything if the zombie strategy works, hopefully I'm going to be saving mountain power. And I'm going to be using that art artillery to barrage their base like freaking mad. And hopefully destroy their base buildings. Um, an actual barrage for the howitzers uh, actually has about 12 or so shells coming out of it per barrage, per activation of the ability. So 12 shells, that is a lot of artillery coming down. Mind you, that's only with one artillery piece. So if you get two or more, wow. It could be just chaos. Sector Artillery, absolutely amazing. Just like the Sector Artillery in Company of Heroes, but an upgraded version. This thing actually does damage. Fair enough, the Company of Heroes Sector Artillery can do damage if it lands spot on. But if it lands spot on, and it's quite uh, infrequent. This one is just constant pounding all the time. All the time in the sector that you're in, as long as you have sight. Uh, whatever sector you've put it at, into, it just does constant pounding of artillery, and it's very, very strong. So that's what I'm going to go out with in this episode. So let's go ahead and jump on into a match. Hopefully this strategy is going to work. I've, I've just come up with this on the fly near enough. Uh, I'm going to be spamming out pioneers. I'm not going to go for tier 1 because um, I feel like the thing about the... Thing about the uh, the Soviets is that they actually kind of have a little bit of an advantage in the game. Um, they sp they can spam a lot of conscripts out initially from their HQ building, and so they can have a fighting presence near enough instantly in the game. Whereas the Wehrmacht have to build a uh, the first tier building if they want to get grenadiers out of it, and so it can be a little bit cumbersome. You can obviously still uh, be enough. You can be successful enough using that strategy and building your first tier building, but I'm actually going to go for a lot of pioneers, try to keep them together, try to combat the conscripts, and then I'm going to tech on up to the next tech, which is what, tech 2, tier 2, I guess, and then I'm going to get the tier 2 building, try to get some Panzer Grenadiers out of there, that's going to be my main AT, um, what else can I build? 
Ah, and also part of my strategy, you can get, you can't actually see it now because I'm waiting for a game, but you can get Mortar Half-Tracks from this Doctrine choice. So you can build those Mortar Half-Tracks from that Tier 2 building, and that's why I'm going to be going for that rather than the Tier 1 uh, building. And hopefully that Mortar Half-Tracks can be quite helpful. It's actually quite reminiscent of the Half-Track in Company of Heroes. If you go for the Panzer Elite, you can get a Mortar Half-Track out from it, and you can use incendiary rounds, which is exactly the same as, well, this one, yep. Here we go, I'm going to be taking on Bosse on Kolodny Firma. Alright, he's a little bit lower level than me, doesn't mean he's going to be any worse. Levels don't actually mean that much in this game. Fair enough, it could mean relatively how long you've been playing the game, but it doesn't give you an actual indicator of what people's skill levels are. So we'll see how successful we can be. Okay. So spamming out these pioneers. Whoop, I'm already heading the wrong way. What the hell, Krebs? So disoriented at the moment. <laughs> uh, first point I'm going to go for is the fuel point. Going to try to capture that. Actually, let's go for the one down south because I feel like I'm going to have a better uh, chance of capping that one. And we're going to keep on spamming these pine uh, pioneers. Pioneers, pioneers, pioneers. 200 manpower for them. I believe Grenadiers cost 240 or 270, I think it's 240, so 40 manpower cheaper. And I believe Pioneers are cheaper to reinforce as well. Hopefully I'm saying that stuff right. It's kind of hard to remember everything. 20 or 25 manpower, I'm stuck between that. 20 or 25 manpower for each guy to reinforce. Anyway, so zombie strategy, zombie zombie strategy. That's what we're going to be aiming for. Um... These Ostruppen, when you actually use this ability, I think your squad has to die. So that's why it's kind of nice that I'm building Pioneers, rather than losing, say, Grenadiers and such. Because the thing is, this strategy is quite risky. You have to be suc successful with it. You have to be able to uh, keep pushing on your opponent all the time. Because if you have to sacrifice squads... Then you're losing veterancy, and no doubt veterancy is going to be really important. And I can't name you the exact veterancy that each squad gets. You can actually see down here what the veterancy is, but I can't tell you the exact specifics of like, oh, they get plus 50% health or something like that. I know it's something absolutely massive. You get big bonuses from having uh, veterancy. I'm going to try capping. Actually, I'll keep on capping this, and then I'll cap that one down here. Could have been more efficient, to be honest. And keep capping, keep capping, keep capping. That's that's the whole point of the strategy. Keep capping, non-stop. Harass, harass, harass. That's what I'm going to keep on trying to do. Uh, let's also build some barbed wire. I absolutely hate the barbed wire in this game. Don't you guys think the same? Uh, it's not the same as in Company of Heroes. Like, it just doesn't have as much flexibility with them. It feels a lot more rigid. At times, you will try to build it near something, and there will be a gap. See, like, there's a gap right there. I don't know if they can actually fit through that. Ooh, let's get back. One annoying thing is that the SMGs are good at close range, whereas the uh, engineers for the Russians are actually pretty good at long range. So I'm going to hide behind this. Yeah, let's use a little bit of this uh, true sight system. <laughs> if they start trying to cap this point, I'll come up behind them. And let's start going up to the next tech here. Okay, let's get on in there. Let's get on in there. Oh, fuck. No, oh, that's going to be a losing battle for me. That's going to be a losing battle for me. So no point of fighting that one, actually. Okay, right. Let's get on in it. Let's get on into it. Come around him from the side. Hop over that fence. Keep capping up north. And let's get behind this hay bale, or whatever it is. Snow-covered hay bale. Yeah, he's taking a lot of damage. Wow. I think he's even going to try to get inside the house. See, he's trying to get back. I guess... I don't think he's actually trying to lure me or anything here. Come on, guys. See, you finish him off. We got a clown car out. Fantastic, we got clown cars. Is he going to retreat the squad, or is he going to keep it there? Okay, right, let's get everything back. Uh, and let's start building our tier 2 building here. Because we'll get some Panzerschrecks out, maybe. We could even get AT guns if we wanted to. 
So I guess on the bright side, at least we got a bunch of territory. Need to keep on capping though, mind you. Yeah, we got some guys over here. Let's fall back a little bit, maybe... Well, I was hoping I could maybe hop the fence. I have to hop back here. And... Okay, I'll help finish this building. Nah, I'll probably have it finished by then. Damn it, freaking snow is in... <laughs> has to be so thick. Uh, we'll get actually some scout cars out. Or some armored cars. I think that'll be good to take on everything that he's got around the field. We can harass him like that. Okay. So he's harassing me down here. If I start focusing on him up there. With my other pioneers. Maybe he'll be alright. Need to cut him off though. That's the thing. I'll try to cut him off at this point. Of contention. Come on guys. You're a bit slow. That's one armored car upgraded. Uh, I'm going to get some an AT gun out actually. To support my guys. Okay, let's wait for my vehicle over here. And let's actually go ahead and attack this this thing. The clown car. Is that appropriate to say? It's a clown car? We've cut him off anyway. There we go. Massive damage coming on down. Need to be careful for uh, any sort of anti-tank grenades. Really need to be careful. Man, my pioneers aren't doing that much damage at all here. Okay, so let's get back. I've lost a lot of territory at the moment. And I'm thinking that an AT gun, probably not the best of things to go for right now. Fuck's sake. I'm losing a lot of my territory. Okay, they finished off on my squads. Fantastic on retreat. So this is looking out to be very uh, optimistic right now. I've lost a lot of territory on the bright side. Nah, uh, there's nothing to look forward to on the bright side. Okay, uh, flamethrowers. Flamethrowers would be good to get some of these guys out of these houses here. We've got another scout car. Okay, so I guess I'll move down south since... Doesn't really look like the enemy's down here in long range presence, at least I hope not. What is he doing? He's just holstering up inside these buildings. I hope my guys can counter them effectively. Come on. I want to get some territory captured here before this blizzard comes down. Keep capping. Why is this guy not retreating? And I actually wish the scout cars would do more damage than this, armored cars. I mean, come on. It feels like they almost do no damage at all. I think what I'm lacking it with at the moment is uh, fuel. Yeah, I'm very deprived of fuel, actually. Look at this! They should be doing a lot more damage. I honestly think they should be doing a lot more damage. For something that's meant to be, like, dedicated a anti-infantry. I mean, come on. Can't kill guys for shit. <laughs> Do they need veterancy or something? In order to get, uh, be good at actually killing? Right. I have no idea what's going on here. Uh, AT gun over at the back. Let's move it on up. Maybe he'll be trying to get some, something on up here. I know I'm floating a lot of resources, guys. Don't, don't, don't mind me. I guess we'll get some Panzer Grenadiers. Why not? Worried about uh, AT grenades. Look at this thing maneuver. So slow. It's just got himself completely stuck, hasn't he? Come on. Two two armored cars. I realize one of them doesn't have uh, an upgraded cannon on it. But, you know, like, you'd think that would do more damage than this. Two infantry squads. Okay. Let's keep capping, keep capping. They've done a number of damage to this scout car, haven't they? We'll move this uh, AT gun down to here. Get these guys along this side so they can get a bit of warmth. Uh, 
Why are they saying artillery? I don't see any artillery. Okay, so we've got some grenadiers, Panzer grenadiers. We'll head these ones got these uh, guys up north. Head these ones over here. AT gun, move on up forward. Man, I've already lost a lot of VP points here. Because remember, the majority of the VPs are going to be towards the center, aren't they? Okay, so we'll move his stuff along up north. So we're coming up uh, along the bottom side. We can counter here. Come on, guys, fire. Go on, I need some of that warmth. Give me warmth. <laughs> Okay, let's get that uh, engineer doing some damage. I'd like to be seeing some of that. Okay, we'll move this uh, AT gun back into the center side. We just made a big lap around this area, haven't we? What's this guy doing? I think that he'll be doing a bit more. Oh man, I think one of my guys froze to death. That's kind of unfortunate. Come on, more damage. More damage. You're inside of. Flame and building. Die. Is the guy gonna re retreat? No, he's not retreating at all. This is kind of lame a little bit, no? <laughs> uh, yeah. We got a bunch of uh, guys coming down here as well. So, is this a micro fail or what's going on? Ooh, let's attack this building here. One presence of the scout car. I think his micro is letting him down. I think he must have uh, seen the strategy initially with scout cars and clown cars and thought it worked, but... I think you can pull it off, but you need to do it successfully, that's the thing. Boom. Right, uh, be afraid of those PPSHs. Definitely be afraid. Get it all back, get it repaired. This thing is not captured yet. And uh, let's start working our way up to another tier. Uh, get a mortar half track, why not? Maybe dislodge guys a little bit better. Man, they're even killing. What is that, a healing lady or something? What the heck was that? That wasn't a healing lady, that was just a normal conscript, I think. So, I guess, generally speaking, what this guy had was he had a, what seemed to be, like, a pretty good advantage early on. Um, but he didn't really manage to keep it up. Okay, so again, let's keep capping points. AT gun still in the center. May as well just keep it along the side. Uh, let's upgrade this other armored car because no point in having something that's still... Oh my god, building going down. Something that's not upgraded. We'll send this one to support these uh, gentlemen up on this side. And another Panzer Grenadier squad refueled on up or rehealed. Oh man. Need to get my... Uh, Oh dear, need to get this, uh, some bundled grenades up here. Come on! No! Why did you just... Fuck! Come on! I got stuck, like, right in the middle of the freaking road. Oh, well, I've got some, uh, mortars coming down. Mortars gonna be useful. Just focus fire their, uh, actual infantry squads now, because their AT gun's not actually gonna do anything. Um... Okay, so move this stuff. Uh, if there's one complaint that I do have about this, uh, about Company of Heroes 2, it's like, things do seem a bit more stiff and rigid, don't you think? Uh, so for example, like, you saw how my armored car got clipped along the side of, of I don't even know what that was, a bush? <laughs> kind of strange, if you ask me. Come on, armored car, do more damage. Again, it's another sort of frustrating thing. Why does this stuff survive so, so much? Look at it! All it does is just damage. And mind you, it's not even a ton of damage, it's just a little bit here and there. 
Man, this guy really doesn't know how to retreat. This guy really does not know how to retreat. We're getting up to our uh, next tier pretty soon here. And then I'm going to be getting tanks out. I think I'm probably going to do a second match. I think I'm going to do a second match because I don't think this one has actually displayed a whole lot. It seems quite standard, really. Uh, put down a minefield. Because why not, you know? Minefields are always nice. Not for the people landing on them, not for the people crossing through them, but yeah, for me, I I think a minefield's nice. Oh. Run. Run, AT gun. <laughs> They're hoorahing. Okay. And now, I don't have any uh, pioneers. We'll build another scout car so we can go ahead and build a base building. What is this guy doing? He's getting mortared. He's getting mortared and he's building uh, sandbags. Why Why is this a good idea? I, I just don't get it. <laughs> I don't freaking get it. Just because. Just because, why not? Right, we'll move these guys back. A whole bunch of mines have been put down. Uh, we'll move this uh, over a little bit. There we go, those guys are retreating, so wow, I think that must have been their first squad that they actually ended up retreating. Uh, get the tier 4 on up. Let's move this into a center, keep capping. And we've got an MG firing at us. Fantastic. So what do I get a vet to? Significantly reduces damage received. I get the infantry awareness ability. And we've got a blizzard coming as well. Okay. Uh, vet 3, what do I get? Increases weapon damage. Well, that could definitely help me right now. That could take me from uh, doing zero damage to actually doing something. <laughs> oh, man. I think what I need right now is just something to finish this, like, seal the deal. I just need something like a tank, and that is it. Why not? Oh, man, I'm still quite far away from the tank, actually. What are you doing, Half-Track? Move back. Oh my god, I can't believe that uh, I'm not getting killed here. <laughs> Come on, surely this would... Surely you would thought that that would have killed me. Wow. Okay, I guess we're gonna go and abandon instead. Alright, MG over here. And unfortunately, that's a little bit of losses. Oh man. Oh man. What could I get out? Ugh. I think I maybe should have opted for tier 3. Reason being, uh, due to being just cheaper vehicles. Look how expensive this stuff is. 140 for the cheapest Brumbar. That's, that's really expensive, isn't it? Okay, so we have a vehicle that I think is abandoned up there. I'm not sure if I actually got end up getting destroyed. It actually looks like it might be destroyed. It might be. Uh, one thing I failed to mention, it's actually a good idea to get down a... What do you call it? A bunker. Here we go, a bunker. And get some healing. Healing capabilities on there. Yeah. No healing ladies, unfortunately, for the Wehrmacht. From like get no such thing as healing ladies. Come on guys, get some heat. There we go. And that is it. Unfortunately that was the uh That was the half track destroyed. The mortar half track. Uh I guess we'll move down south. I don't want to blob up everything. So we'll send we'll split it up a little bit. Send a pioneer, a grenadier. Up north. Pioneer, grenadier. Down south. And when do I get a Brum Bar? Well, I get it now, actually. Let's get a Brum Bar. Here we are. MG right over there. Scout cars really just don't do not do any damage at all, do they? 
I think that's actually a common complaint what a lot of people have. Is that the scout cars really just don't do anything. Come on, heal, 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 heal. Here we go. And I think I heard some guys crashing the mines over here. Yeah. That's a little bit of mine action. There we go. Ended up killing something in there. Come on. I need heat. 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 Or I'm gonna end up dying from the heat and not the, uh... This squad needs to get back. I'm gonna end up dying from the, uh, cold. Rather than the freaking heat. And we'll just throw a grenade. Ah, I can't even throw a grenade right now. Throwing a grenade could actually help settle the score a little bit. Let's do it. Why not? There we go. That's evened it out. <laughs> I lost my freaking... Uh, oh, no. We got a like, squad freezing to death. It's all micro. It's all a game of micro, isn't it? And now we've got the Brumbar at last. I don't know, I was hoping to do like a zombie strategy here, guys, but I'm, I'm sort of... I'm sort of lacking the initiative to actually use it. I was hoping to do a zombie strategy, like... I think for the just the hell of it, I'll maybe just go ahead and show you what a zombie strategy looks like. So we'll send a bunch of squads and infantry up forward. Um... And then I'll throw on the Relief Infantry ability, so you can maybe see what happens. But it's kind of uh, a little bit irritating actually, because yeah, I don't have the initiative to actually really do anything in this match. Uh, Zombie-wise, I've just had squads separated here and there. And nothing that was like major engagements in one concentrated area where I could actually use my my relief infantry ability to a really good use. So I'm gonna send these uh, squads on up forward just to be a bit suicidal, why not? Uh, these, this AT gun's not gonna do anything. Okay, but that's gonna do something. So let's throw my relief infantry ability. Kill my guys, kill them, please, kill them. I want you to kill my guys. Are we getting any free squads? No, I think squads actually have to die here. Oh, look at that. We got a free squad. We got free squad. And that's not actually from the infantry uh, actual entire squad dying. It's from a selective squad dying. 180 gun. Do something. Go Brumbar. Attack. <laughs> We've got charging up infantry. Okay, so that's good to know. Uh, that's, you get Ostrupen from men dying, but not actually... But not actually from entire squads dying, because that would be quite infuriating, wouldn't it? To actually have to lose a whole... A whole squad before you could do anything. Because the important part you, is you need to keep that veterancy. Especially in the long term, if that's how you plan on winning a game. Uh, so what I'll do, I'll call down a smoke barrage and... <laughs> Oh god, this isn't probably going to work. But you'll get a general idea here. That you get sight, you get sight. Look at it. Oh no, I think it's going to be counteracting. <laughs> oh, that is... Ah. <laughs> Krebs, you're such a fucking noob. <laughs> we managed to see that there was something there, but... Uh, yeah, that was kind of counterintuitive. Alright, Ostrupen! Reinforce. Ostrupen are like grenadiers, but they don't get all the abilities. Piss off! No! Don't do so much damage to me. Uh oh. Okay, right. Move this. When do I get some more uh, tanks? Soon. Good to know. Move these squads over to that side. Get the Oz trooping back. And let's finish off the squad over here. <sighs> Move this around because why would you point the ass of a tank at uh, the enemy? That's definitely a great idea, Krebs. Definitely a great idea. May as well just uh, bunker this down a little bit. Put some mines. A little minefield action. There we go. 
Come on! More damage, please. Vet 3 at last on this tank. Or this armored car, rather. Uh, I feel like my micro's a little bit off. See, the thing is about Company of Heroes, in the original one, you can use the tactical map, you can see everything across the map, and you have a great idea of where to go, but on this, it feels a lot more slower paced. A lot more slower paced, actually. Uh, let's get some flamethrowers. Uh oh. Flamethrowers ain't gonna help me against uh, one of those. Uh, so, while we can, let's get a panther out. And we'll also get down Howitzer. Because the Howitzer is definitely going to help me. I'm going to start harassing his base. Bombard his base, more like. That'll be fun. Okay. So we're going to keep moving down along the center side. Harass him. Uh, hopefully he won't try to capture that VP point. Oh, run. We've got mines along this place. Kind of hard to see them, isn't it? Can't really see those mines. Ow! Yeah. They took a bit of damage. you think they would actually get suppressed, though. Because in, in normal company of heroes, they actually would get suppressed. Okay. So, let's head down along the south side. Split up our squads a little bit here. And we have sector artillery now, which is brilliant. And now what I'm going to start doing is barraging his base. That's it, man. That's it. I'm going to harass. Get up close. Hit this stuff. Look at that. Heat-seeking um, mortars. Love it. I love heat-seeking mortars. Yeah, all this stuff is dying. Okay, and now we've got our panther. We'll move him up over here to this side. And we'll start moving up our brum bar along that side as well. Again, move my engineers over there. My pioneers. And is anything freezing? Nah, nothing a whole lot. Seems to be generally okay across the battlefield. And there we go. Ah, is the scout car near enough duffed? I think I saw some in there. I think that was the uh, T-34. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I don't want to lose it. I don't want to lose it. Come on, get behind the building. Woo! Here we go. Let's go. Let's attack. Alright, let's go for this VP. We're encircling from around the side. Oh, I think I could actually finish off that T-34. Come on, guys. You need to move because you're all freezing on up. I know my infantry is dying. There we go. T-34 gone. Wow. Is this going to be a massacre? Come on, guys. Ouch! I'm not only killing my them, but I'm killing myself here as well. Alright, us trooping. Uh, <laughs> note to self. Note to freaking self at the moment. Uh, I'm not only losing squads here from the cold. Fuck! No, there's no heat. There's no heat! Damn! I've got squads freezing to death here, and they're gonna continue. They're gonna continue to freeze to death. Oh god damn it! Why is this facing that direction? Okay, let's start moving into his base. You know what, guys? I think I'm just gonna go for. Uh, I kid you not. I'm just gonna just destroy the base because why is it so hard at the moment to freaking win this game? I'm just gonna literally go for a base attack. I don't care. I'm going for a base attack. I'm gonna destroy his bases and go for an annihilation, hopefully. Seems like I've lost a number of squads here. Move this on back. And hello, little T70. 
<laughs> what are you doing out here? <laughs> ah, I feel sorry for you. Oh. We've got uh, AT gun right on the front line. Wish my my uh, my howitzer would kill him. Looks like we've actually got. Oh, he's doing a little artillery barrage. That's a perfect moment to move in. Because artillery barrage. That's an artillery barrage. That's not. That's not actual artillery. It's not gonna kill me. It's not gonna be effective against my my tanks. So right here we go. Ah, engine is damaged. But here we go. Uh, I can't remember which one. Oh, frick, which one's the one that you get the AT guns from? Harassing their guys here. Can you remember which ones the ones that you get the AT guns from? Because that's going to be the priority. Honestly, freaking can't remember. Need more experience. Need more experience. This is Krebsy's uh, newbiness right now coming in. Oh man. Ah! Die. Oh man, I don't want to lose my stuff here, but I have a feeling that actually might happen. Okay, right, we'll call a smoke barrage down. Maybe I can... Oh, he's even throwing grenades! This is hilarious. God damn it. Move back. Move back, mofos. Barrage the base some more. Quick. We can destroy it before he can do anything. <laughs> destroy the buildings. <laughs> He's still barraging me here. Ah, oh, this is amazing. I think my tank is going to die, to be honest with you guys. But I'm going for a total annihilation. I'm going for a total annihilation. Wow, look at all that infantry. Oh. oh no! It was abandoned! Hold on. Attack ground. Oh no, that was abandoned as well! <gasps> Are you having a laugh? I'm gonna have to uh, bombard that shit. I'm actually gonna have to bombard that shit before he can get that. That's ridiculous! Oh my god. He could potentially uh, use that against me. Man, I need more artillery. I'm gonna actually have to barrage that before he can do anything with it. Ouch. I don't like that. I don't like them uh, having access to my weapons. Uh, can we use a reconnaissance? Should we do it? Nah, I don't think so. Come on, points. Tick down faster. I've got the VPs. Why isn't it ticking down faster? Two seconds left. I'm gonna start barraging that. I'm gonna start barraging this. Because I don't want him to get those tanks. Hopefully I can just destroy him. I wonder if he'll realize it though. Seems like this guy's a little bit off, been off with uh, a number of things. I wonder if he'll realize that he can get those tanks back. Keep capping guys. Keep capping. I like how you're sort of hanging around the cover. Got that cover bonus. Yeah! There we go. I think he actually did capture it because I don't remember that tank being the panther dying right there. I think he did capture it. Well, I'm glad that panther is at least gone. Hoorah, bitches. I'm so sick of these Russian assholes. <laughs> Great commentary. This game is almost comical in a, in a way right now. 33 minutes in long. Nothing much has even been happening. Honestly, like, seriously, what has happened in this game? That, like, you can say is outstanding. I wouldn't say that there's anything outstanding. I would say it's outstandingly crap. <laughs> not in this game, but, I mean, not as in Company of Heroes 2. I mean, this round. I haven't really seen anything outstand outstanding. Get another uh, Panther out. 
Just in case he starts getting tanks again. Alright. Here we go. Another barrage coming soon. Gonna start hitting his base buildings again. Uh, Blizzard coming down. Okay, let's hit those base buildings again here. I'm gonna need to actually take out those, uh... Go to need to take out those medic... Those, not the medic bunkers. What am I on about? The actual normal bunkers as well. Here we go. Pounding that base. Pound that base. Until he has nothing. Until not even, uh... Until not even a moose can live in this area because it's so saturated of chemicals and ashes. Destruction. Ouch. Man, it's just constantly non-stop harassment all across the battlefield. Can't just freaking win this game, can I? I wanna just win! Why is it so difficult? Oh man, we got no uh, heat. We're gonna have to go, uh, I'm gonna get these guys inside this house here. Get these guys down here, get some more heat. Do you guys like this whole new system with uh, the weather? I think it definitely adds a, a dynamic to the game. But I think they should even make it more realistic if they're gonna have it in the game. Like, take out that timer. I don't. I think that timer should be gone. Take out those warnings. Um, make it just come out of nowhere. Make it be totally random. Like, either you're prepared for it or you're not prepared for it. That's what I think, personally. I'm tempted to get another howitzer. Okay, let's uh, let's barrage his base some more, because I can. Non-stop barrages. That's the thing, because it's twelve artillery shells. It's almost non-stop. Okay, move up north with this squad. Come on, come on, come on! I need to take out those bunkers. Problem is finding those bunkers. Oh. That's my bum bar. That's that's my freaking bum bar right there. <laughs> Thanks for uh, taking my bum bar, bitch. <laughs> oh, gonna need some cover here so that my guys don't freeze to death. Ah, uh, let's use this reverse ability. Let's keep reversing. Wow, that was close. I think what we're gonna need is some more en engineers. Or pioneers. I suppose they're a bit spread across the map at the moment. Mm. More barrages, more barrages. We need to keep on destroying this base. I think he's got a whole bunch of guys concentrated in this area. What I think I'm gonna do actually is uh here we go i'm gonna call down a smoke screen and i'm gonna scout what he has oh <laughs> Matt, i swear I'm, I'm doing this not on purpose i'm not trying to give them uh all this free cover from the smoke that i'm putting down oh man they're just running right into me here this Brumbar is gonna go down if he's not careful with it, which he's not being. Oh man, I'm losing squads here as well, trying to repair. Come on, Panther! Main gun destroyed. There we go, that's it. That's a Brumbar down. That's my own Brumbar down. Oh man. I'll just let that keep on going. Gonna keep on barraging his base until it's gone. And yeah, these guys are having a dandy day. Uh oh. Alright, move guys, move! Move, move, move. Let's get another uh, howitzer out. 
Because we can't get enough howitzers. What is that panther shooting at? I think he's shooting at the house, isn't he? Look at that. That's a big range. That is big range. Right, so let's try this, uh... Let's try this <laughs> smoke screen again. But this time, hopefully, I'll actually be able to see something. Okay, so here comes my plane. Let's watch it. It's coming over this area. Yeah, they've got some... Base buildings coming on up. Let's throw a grenade in there. Oh. Yeah, that's his squad down. Down and dusted. Wow. Die. Die, bitch. You know, this all trooping ability, it seems really good, but I think you need to, uh... Spam. You need to spam infantry and bring up these occasions all the time. There we go. Ouch! Even more losses for them. Okay, that is another howitzer down. So we're gonna keep on barraging his base until there's nothing at all. As we were saying, n until not even a moose could uh, survive in this environment. Oh no! Bitch, keep going. Keep firing. And then we've got another barrage available, so we'll keep on barraging him. Why not? Oh man, this game has gone on for so excessively long, it feels like. Throw a grenade in the midst of that. There we go. Killed a whole bunch of them. Damaged a whole bunch of them as well. Okay, right, I'm gonna throw down another smoke screen here, guys. So I can see what's in their base. Oh! I think that might have been... I don't think that, that was even a VP win. I think that was a freaking annihilation. <laughs> wow. That was fun. Max XP. Congratulations, you have earned the maximum amount of experience attainable in a single match. Thank you. That was fun. It wasn't the most pro of games, to be honest with you guys. I mean, that was quite... That was quite obvious that it wasn't the most pro shoot games. The guy even said, holy shit, does anything ever hit? Hmm, guess not. Um, I was also saying that I was going to do another cast, but to be honest, that one dragged out a lot longer than I was expecting. I think I thought it was going to be over in 20 minutes flat, but... I don't know, guys. I, don't, I wouldn't even say it's down to, like, the re whole reason that game was dragged out because... Um, you know, we're equally skilled, we clearly weren't. I mean, fair enough, I'm not the best in the game, but that guy wasn't even retreating. I think what it just comes down to, I couldn't destroy him immediately because maybe it's a lack of experience, but also it feels like a lack of having anything to actually destroy the, the base, like, pushing, because it feels like your opponent can make a comeback so easily. Like, look how many squads you still managed to have, despite me pushing him back with a variety of units. Um, armored cars should definitely do more damage, that's what I think initially right now should definitely do more damage. They just, they were damaging, but even hardly doing anything. But anyway, guys, uh, that is me for now. I think what I'm going to do is try to start actually casting, uh, commentating some, some actual gameplays. That'll be interesting. Casting games that I'm not actually fully uh, knowledgeable on yet. But I'm sure you guys will be in the same boat as me. So anyway... I think we'll call that a show. Until next time, I will catch you all later. Right here we go. Three, two, one.